Ah, I hate coming here. No, no, I love being here. I love being here, but like getting here, that's a whole different, getting here is a total, un, slowly unfolding nightmare. Being here is great, but the getting here, I drove here all the way from Arizona, right? And so it is just, it's a mess. But then I, I thought about it and I thought, you know, if I lived in a really poor country like the Congo, I probably wouldn't be here tonight because it's a much further drive, doy, but because they don't have any infrastructure, right? Which is why I support House Bill 126A. Got infrastructure? Because we got infrastructure. It got me here, but now we gotta fix it because we've, we've got it and it's messed up. The state animal in Maryland, where I live now, is a crab coming out of a pothole. That's how bad <laughs> things have got. And they fix them, but every six months they just erode again. And the roads shouldn't be eroding, all right? And the streets are just littered with uh, litter, I guess, technically, literally with litter. And the worst offender, you know what it is? It's plastic straws because they last a thousand years, all right? Well, why don't you fix the potholes with the plastic straws, all right? It's a, it's a no-brainer, which is how I thought of it, okay? Can you love something that you don't understand? I, I'm done with the infrastructure stuff, by the way. That's it for the infrastructure. Can you love something you don't understand because I'm totally in love with the big G, which is all around us, and I think you know what I mean. Gluten, right? I love gluten. I don't know what it is, but I love it with all of my heart because recently I was at the airport. By the way, if Congo had an airport, I'd probably be here right now. I was at the airport which is my favorite infrastructure. And I was between, uh, running late between flights and I grabbed a couple slices of pizza. I grabbed some regular American glutenized pizza and then a slice of uh, gluten-free pizza. And uh, it looked like regular pizza and it glistened like regular pizza, but it was some kind of fool's pizza. And it gave me a stomach ache, all right? Because I thought I was eating the box. I'm. I'm no science man, all right? I'm no Sir Isaac Gluten, but I did, I did a little experiment and I compared them and there are two differences, gluten and flavor. I've cracked the code, all right? The gluten's in the flavor, the flavor carries the gluten, all right? That's how it works. And, but despite that, there are gluten-free restaurants. I don't know how they stay in business, all right? I wanna go there and come home with a sack of it, a sack of gluten, all right? I'm not a, a printer, I didn't invent the printing press. I'm no Johannes Glutenberg, but if I were, <laughs> I would print up these huge signs that say uh, free gluten and cover up the gluten-free signs on the menu because free gluten, you'll get some customers. Gluten-free, you're just gonna get some empty parking spots, all right? It's... You know how uh, noise-canceling headphones work? I'm gonna get back to the gluten in a second. Noise-canceling headphones, they work because Every sound makes a wave, and this contraption makes the opposite wave, and they cancel each other out, right? No sound, right? Voila, voila is French for ta-da. If you <laughs> got a slice of gluten and, and, and made a wave of it, and then made the opposite wave, that's how you would make gluten-free, all right? That is cardboard. That is the only food you could send through a fax machine, all right? I don't know what gluten is or what it wants of us or where it goes when it's ultimately freed, right? But, and I'm no iron-fisted dictator. I'm no Vladimir Gluten, all right? But if I were, I'd support House Bill 126B, all right? The Happiness Reclamation Act for life, liberty, and pursuit in gluten. Mm -hmm.